Creating and using a NIR account is very simple. First off, navigate to wallet.nir.org and where you'll be presented with this screen and click on Create Account. First thing you'll need to do is reserve your account ID. So pick a name that you want for your account. I'm going to pick skydiving.nir. You'll be told whether it's accessible or available or not. And then click on Reserve My Account ID. From here, you have an options to secure your account. I can use, use a passphrase, a ledger hardware wallet, um, or email. It's highly recommended you pick either the secure passphrase or ledger hardware wallet um, as they offer the most uh, security uh, for, your, for your account and put you in complete control of uh, your private keys. Uh, I typically use ledger hardware wallets uh, for most of my accounts and the link to that will be uh, below this video. Uh, for this demo though, we'll pick a secure fat passphrase and continue. Uh, and then you'll present, be presented with uh, your phrase. I'm not actually going to register this account um, as you can now see my passphrase and that is not something you want somebody to be able to see. Uh, but you will definitely need to um, copy down the passphrase uh, and the order is important. So make sure you keep track of uh, what order the, the words are in. I'm just going to hit copy phrase and hit continue. And then you'll be asked to verify that phrase. So you need word 10, which was occur. Hit verify and complete. And when you're almost done, at this point you need to verify your new account. Uh, so you can either pick email or phone um, to receive a one-time passcode there that you can enter. Or uh, what is more recommended as you're going to need to fund your account with near anyways, is to pick uh, and send an initial deposit to it. So you can fund with an existing account, fund with a credit card uh, by purchasing through MoonPay as your initial deposit, or have a manual deposit via single use funding address that somebody has sent you. Typically, um, I'll fund my new accounts with an existing account, so I'd simply pick that and then continue and, and go through the process uh, to do that. But each one of these present you with specific instructions as to how to do that. And that's all there is to uh, setting up your, your near account. And then you'll be able to use, use it um, to log into decentralized applications like Catalyst. Uh, so I'm just gonna run you quickly through how that works. Uh, so now if I was to launch a decentralized application, and this is the Catalyst homepage, you'd be presented with a dialogue that asks you can, to connect your account with, with, uh, with the application. Um, Vital Point AI is, is us, we make Catalyst. Uh, so we're gonna choose one of our accounts here to connect uh, to Catalyst, just hit next. And it'll s tell you what you're connecting to and that it has limited permissions. So it's always a good idea when you're using blockchain applications to actually read uh, what permissions are being given and what you're authorizing things to do, because essentially you're signing and authorizing uh, your account to interact with that application and that application to interact with your account. And sometimes that involves a, a transfer of funds. So in this case, um, you know you can see the, the address and your balance, but it does not allow the application to transfer tokens. And you simply hit connect, and you'll be logged into the application. The beauty of this is that there's no passwords anymore. Uh, a key has been stored in your browser or local storage. So if you come back to this application and not having signed out, uh, you'll simply be logged in and ready to go. All right, so once here, uh, we're just going to, I'm going to show you how to use your near wallet uh, to do something. So typically if you do something in an application that requires an interaction with the blockchain and we'll pick uh, an opportunity here so propose an opportunity submit a proposal this doesn't really matter uh, what matters is this screen that pops up here so you're going to be taken back and forth from your wallet to basically sign sign thing um, and this is what it looks like so in this case the application is asking you to transfer that much near here's your balance if you click more information, you'll get the actual function that's being called on the contract and the arguments that are being passed. 
And you also get this uh, transaction fees uh, piece here where uh, it shows you what the limit is that will be spent on this transaction and a gas price estimate if it's available. Don't worry about uh, the limit here. A typical application um, access key uh, is going to give you give it the ability to spend up to 0.25 near um, but typically these transactions are, are super cheap and anything that is not spent gets returned to you anyways. So you sit back and then you simply hit allow. And in this case I'm using a ledger uh, so I would go through the process to confirm the operation on the ledger. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to cancel that and it will take me back to, a, to where I started in the application and go from there. Now, if I head back to the wallet very briefly, I just want to talk a bit about this deposit piece here. Uh, so everything you do on a, a blockchain, including near protocol, requires gas. Uh, that's why there needs to be some near in your wallet uh, so that it can perform various operations. And getting near is actually fairly easy. Um, and there's basically three options that you can, can do to get it. First off, you can ask somebody who has near to send you some. And for using an application like Catalyst, uh, 0.2 near is plenty uh, to get you started as an individual. However, if you want to create communities or um, do anything more complex, you'll need probably a minimum of 2.2 near uh, to get going as it takes two near to start a community. Option number two is that you can buy some near and you can go to a, a centralized exchange like crypto.com or a specialized service like MoonPay uh, to do that. And if you also already have Ethereum uh, ERC20 cryptocurrencies, then you can convert them to NIR as you send them over Aurora's uh, Rainbow Bridge uh, to your NIR wallet. But be sure you understand how that works exactly before trying it. And all these things I'm mentioning are gonna be linked. Um, links will be provided underneath the video here. Uh, third option is to earn some NIR. And there's quite a few ways you can do that. You, know, you can play play to earn games like hashrush.com. Uh, you can do some learn and earn education through Near University, uh, complete tasks through Near Crowd, uh, create and sell art through Paras, or contribute to projects through the o Open Web Sandbox um, for things that are looking for help. And of course, once you have access and things in your account, uh, so near in your account, uh, Catalyst is the perfect place to earn as you participate in and contribute to community projects and objectives. So, uh, congratulations. Uh, at this point, you now have a, a near wallet and uh, near account, and it's got some near in it, so you're ready to go and start using decentralized applications like, uh, like Catalyst on near protocol.